in this first video, I'm actually going to combine the um, first uh, four points on the agenda. And we'll just call them basic uh, discussions of unemployment and labor market categories. It's a little bit more encompassing than that, but um, that's how I'll simplify it for right now. So unemployment and labor market categories. So first, let's talk about what unemployment is. To be unemployed means that you have to be a person who is willing and able to work, but you're not working. So that would then mean that to fulfill those criteria, you um, have to, um, you can't just be a person who's lazy. Um, a person who's lazy um, wouldn't fall into this criteria. Um, if we look at the specific stat for this, it would be to be unemployed equals the number of unemployed over the size of the civilian labor force. and that we multiply that times 100. Now what does it mean to then be, um, what does it mean to have a civilian labor force? What we do here is we start to create categories. So we start out with the overall population. In the case of the US, eh, it's about 326 million people. And then what we do is we can break this down into two categories. One is going to be called the civilian non-institutional population. The civilian non-institutional population. And in this category over here, we're going to have groups like the kids, the very sick, those who are in the military, those who are in prisons, the idea here, as we start to break this down, is that you've got a certain number of people in this category here who legally can't be working, um, right, or they're serving our country so they can't be working, or they're just really sick, or they're kids, so they're not of age to actually be working. And then we've got another group. These would be basically then people who are, at least on one level, physically and legally uh, capable of working. Doesn't mean that they're actually working, but at least they fulfill all those criteria. And then what we do is we break this group into two groups. Those not in the labor force and then our civilian labor force. So let's uh, look up some numbers here just so we can add a little bit of discussion here. Um, so our civilian non-institutional population, I'm going to be using data from the Federal Reserve Economic Database. <coughs> Here it's estimated at 255,562,000. Okay, so then what that would mean is that this has to be the difference between the two. I'm kind of estimating that just 326 million. Um, obviously this is always changing, um, but that would give me about um, here about seventy million four hundred and thirty eight thousand people over here right most of those are kids um, they're not all in prisons or sick or, or whatnot and then for the size of my civilian labor force 
according to the Federal Reserve. Um, here I've got about 161 million, 146,000 people, which would mean then that this adds up to 94 million. 416,000 people. In terms of what we define not in the